How you doing guys? This is Matt Wachlinski at the Strength Shop. Just going to show you real quick and dirty a piece of core training equipment that I use. Uh, super easy to make, super cheap. What I got here is a coil. You can get it at any major uh, hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. It's a coil that they use to hold, carry their wire. Rolls around nice and easy. You can use it for a lot of different stuff. I reinforced it with uh, two by eights. Uh, just bought an extra two by eight for a couple bucks. Cut it down. Measured this distance right there. It's about two feet. Cut them down. Screwed it in. Works great for box jumps. Whatever you need a, a box or something like that for. What we got is a, uh, a reverse hyper or uh, back extensions, things like that. So got this guy in here, right there. Boom. Got yourself a nice little tire. Pow! Like yay. A med or a Swiss ball. Booyah. Like yeah. Super easy. Super dirty. You might want, you might want to weigh it down with a couple dumbbells. Make sure it don't flop around. It's really sturdy, but when you're moving around a little bit, it might kind of tilt a little bit, so uh, keep it down nice and fixed. It's great for back rehab, you know, super set that in between uh, deadlifts, squats, what have you. Um, on your off days, deload days, oh, it feels so good. Now, just by the way, it might not be enough weight. You can add as much weight as you want with one of these little straps. Pretty simple. Come in, boom. Got that in there like yay. Pull that foot through. There you go. Pow! Like that. Make sure you pull that apart in those plates, 25s, 45s, whatever you got. Bam. Oh, that feels so good. Go ahead and slide that out of there. And you also got leg raises. Of course, you can add weight to your leg lifts. Makes it really tough. You don't need too much weight on those leg lifts. 10 pounds goes a pretty long way. If you want, you can come in here, have somebody hold your feet or strap it down or something like this, and do back raises. I don't really care for it. Doesn't feel too great on that. But those two feel great. And uh, I just put these away super quick. Slide that away wherever you keep it. Put your stuff away. Costs next to nothing. Um, so it's a heck of a lot better than spending a thousand or two thousand dollars on a reverse hyper. I love reverse hypers, but I don't, you know, I'm not going to justify spending that kind of money on a piece of equipment like that that we're going to use very little. Um, or at least not as much as what I could uh, justify spending that kind of money on. So hopefully, uh, maybe you could use that for your little garage gym. Have any more questions, post them up. Thanks a lot.